Now, the world has been anxiously waiting for a HIV vaccine. However, nothing has developed on this end for over 40 years since the virus emerged. But there are emerging technologies like the pre-exposure prophylaxis or, or PrEP, post-exposure prophylaxis and the vaginal ring that have led to a gradual reduction of HIV cases globally. Our health and science reporter Elizabeth Etienne now reports on the gains made in the fight against HIV and why there is a delay in the development of an HIV vaccine. It is now 39 years since Kenya reported its first case of HIV in 1984. As of now, 1.4 million people are currently living with the virus. Four decades later, scientists and researchers around the world are yet to find a HIV vaccine. This despite the research funding. Over time, we have seen uh, donor funding is dwindling over time. And it's important for us to appreciate that donors, no matter how much they support the country's program, will not be here forever. Hopes for the availability of a HIV vaccine by 2030 have also been dashed. Scientists argue that HIV is a shape-shifting virus, hence the virus changes and escapes any vaccines developed. Additionally, there are different clades of HIV, hence a vaccine developed for clade A may not work against clade B or clade C. A lot of research happening in the country right now, and I think Kenya has been a pioneer as far as uh, uh, innovation is concerned. So some of this research, for example, around uh, pharmacy platforms uh, uh, as potential delivery avenues. But some innovations are currently at play, not only in Kenya but around the world. For instance, in 2018, the government commenced the rollout of pre-exposure prophylaxis, PREP drugs, as an additional prevention option for those at high risk of HIV by 99%. There is also the vaginal ring currently on a five-year trial to be conducted in Nairobi, Mombasa and Kisumu. The ring is made of silicon material that releases regulated amount of antiretroviral drug over a 28-day period. Uh, we are still shy of that. Uh, so far we are seeing about 360,000 people who have initiated PrEP. So certainly yes, good progress, but still a lot uh, needs to be done. There have been more than 250 HIV vaccine trials, most of them early stage. However, only 10 or so vaccine trials advanced to the point of looking at efficacy. Uh, but also there are issues around regulatory barriers uh, like injectable carbidegravir, for example, has not been approved by the Pharmacy and Poisons Board yet. There have been five alleged cases of people being cured of HIV, the recent one being that of a 53-year-old man from Germany who was allegedly cured after a stem cell transplant is in terms of us tracking the removal of regulatory barriers uh, to make sure that uh, most of these products are included within their country-specific guidelines. Early this month, the countries of Denmark and Australia announced plans for a HIV vaccine trial set to commence late this year. If this vaccine is the much-awaited magic bullet in the cure for HIV, then it will undergo trial in the country of Denmark, then scale up, and finally the rollout, which will target those at the highest risk. Children won't be the first to receive vaccine due to safety and durability of efficacy. The scientists recommend that those aged 15 and older will be prioritized in getting vaccinated before they become sexually active. For now, nations around the world are waiting with zeal and anxiety to see if this vaccine is going to be the cure for HIV. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47.